Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Oh, is that the Two of Cups? <clears throat> no, it's not, it's the King of Cups. And when it's this way, um, for me, I take that as in the reverse. So in the past, they have big feelings straight out the gate, but they pushed these away or they hid them, they repressed them, they felt uncertain about them. Um, they possibly tried to control these feelings as well. Okay, what else? We have the magician. I just heard they felt alive. They felt alive in the past and I just saw the tower. So yeah, the tower um, is something that hits us suddenly. So something about your connection and the way they saw you and felt about you, it just, it's like, um, I'm, I'm getting the image now of a car and the battery's gone flat and you're jump-starting it. You know, they felt jump-started by you, by this connection. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, so huge feelings that they loved, but also maybe didn't trust or were afraid of didn't understand we have the queen of pentacles so they saw you as being someone who is accomplished in whatever this is whether it's in a financial sense in terms of work in terms of self-mastery you know really knowing yourself being quite mature being quite grounded i'm hearing professional so i don't know if you work with this person if you did when you first met or if they just feel that the way you handle things is quite um, professional <clears throat> they so they saw you as someone financially stable someone who was independent um also someone possibly who has been dedicating a lot of time and effort to something and you you were when they when they um, met you or at this particular point you're asking about they felt that you were enjoying seeing the rewards of your hard work um that you would make an amazing partner or spouse here someone to be taken seriously seven of cups yeah i think all of these feelings confused your person especially because they appeared from nowhere um and they didn't build slowly we have the five of cups okay and this is what i mean that energy about feeling like you sort of jump started their um emotion passion excitement joy for life they were in this five of cups energy so when you when you first met your person um you may or may not know that they seem to have have been mourning something or feeling sad or have given up in a way or maybe they were just focusing on the burdens in their life and what hasn't gone right um and then suddenly you came in and you know blew them away knight of swords so i think this is going to, to be surprising uh for many of you your person felt very keen to communicate it's like they wanted to talk to you all day every day now I'm not saying they did that or they acted upon it but this is how they saw you this is how they felt suddenly they wanted to you know know everything about you tell you everything about them um, text you all the time call you all the time something as well uh, it seems kind of odd but it might make sense to someone something about your connection in the past made your person feel like a good communicator um so perhaps you are really good in the way you communicate and being part of, of that kind of a dynamic made your person feel really good at communicating and the reason i'm saying it's something to do with you is because a we're asking about how they saw you how do they feel about you um but b i feel this sudden urge to speak to communicate is coming from this connection from you um or, or from the meeting of you i don't feel that this person necessarily always just wants to talk or or share or communicate it's something about this meeting that that inspired or excited them in some way <clears throat> okay so we have the knight of pentacles in reverse and we have the ten of wands so here's where they tripped themselves up they they saw you as a queen of pentacles male or female and they feel amazing amazing you know an amazing person um really doesn't need me or anyone um, and so I suppose the people in, in your life are here because um, you want them to be. So that's how they were seeing you. That, however, that's almost, that was like a sticking point for them. Maybe it brought up some fear, some insecurities. Perhaps your person in the past, um, as I said before on this channel, may have been used to people or being in 
connections, relationships with people, romantic and otherwise, who need them. There's, there was some sort of codependency there and it worked in that way. Um, <clears throat> but they felt you didn't. So they were almost, that, that was amazing to them, wonderful, but it was intimidating as well, I think. So then from there, they internalized all of these feelings and they became heavy for them. You know, the 10 of wands here. Okay, on the back we have the Fool, so Aquarius, Aries energy. They felt that they wanted, you know, to just, just take this leap of faith um, into this connection, but of course they did stop themselves. Yeah, look, Ace of Wands or Ace of Inspiration in this deck. So they did feel very, very inspired by you. I feel that um, seeing you as this Queen of Wands, so look, well, maybe Queen of Wands as well, but Queen of Pentacles, and the way you, you behave, act, operate, your, your viewpoint, the energy that you have, um, <clears throat> whatever kind of energy that is, you know, and the way that your person connects with it, it's almost like it made them feel, well, you're out here doing these amazing things. Maybe I can do it too. Not in the way, not in the sense of, well, if you can do it, I can do it. Not like that. Um, you know, they're, they're saying it's very inspiring to see what you're doing and they can see that how much work has gone into becoming the person that they saw you as then. Um, so they didn't think it was going to be an overnight easy thing, but at the same time, maybe you were encouraging, you know, maybe you said, yeah, you, you should do this, you should try that, you can do this. Or maybe just being around you felt nurturing and inspiring and they felt confident and, and they felt like, okay, I want to expand, I want to grow, I want to try new things. Okay, so I have to say, it feels a bit like your person did get in their own way in the past, but I can understand why, because they were minding their own business, Five of Cups energy, you know, focusing on perhaps the sad things. Um, and then suddenly you appeared, this connection appeared, and maybe you feel the same about them, that you were minding your own business and suddenly this popped up and uh, and it was it was from like zero to a hundred, you know, instantly. So they were a bit concerned or not necessarily trusting this. They That tells us that they felt that this connection was very unique. Um, <clears throat> they hadn't, probably hadn't felt like this about anyone before. There's also like a no-nonsense um, attitude or, or energy around you as far as they were concerned in the past. They understood that they, you weren't going to put up with them wasting your time. Um, and if they felt like a knight and you were coming up as, as a queen, yeah, I do feel that they were intimidated. Okay. So how did this person see my viewer in the past, feel about this connection in the past? so we have romance yes cupid's arrow strikes and that's exactly it they were walking along minding their own business and it's like suddenly cupid shot them with an arrow you know um and they were in love <laughs> just just like that out of nowhere okay we do have the yin and the yang so feeling like you were you know amazing counterparts and actually it sort of looks like the person up front is sad maybe even crying and then the, the person behind is comforting them um again you know this five of cups i'm busy focusing on all of my losses all of my sadness and then here you come um offering them hope again we have balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges I do feel your person felt supported by you, even if you had no idea, even if that wasn't what, something you were actively doing. But I also feel that they felt challenged within themselves by this connection, by these feelings, um, you know, not allowing these feelings to evolve and unfold naturally. OK, so let's see how these uh, thoughts and feelings about you, their view of you and this connection have changed. So how do they see you right now? How do they view your connection at this time? <clears throat> you know, I'm seeing an egg. I keep seeing eggs in uh, readings, both, you know, on YouTube and personal readings. I just feel there, is, there are so many new beginnings happening now, new cycles. I know we were talking about this on Monday as well. Okay, can you show us how does this person see my viewer, see this connection in a present moment? 
Okay, Age of Swords in Reverse. This also came out on Monday. So um, this crow has the red thread around it. So they, they feel that they are, you know, destined to think about you forever. Destined to feel um, a connection with you, to feel in love with you forever. That's something your person is saying, look, I've accepted this, no matter what the situation is in the physical world, whether we're talking or not, together or apart, I'm just going to have these feelings, you know, like, fine. <laughs> I just accept it, I'm not fighting it. But they're also saying, you know, I see something differently now. Maybe they see you differently. Um, or they see something that, that they just couldn't see before. We have judgment in the reverse. Oh, the Ten of Swords. The Three of Swords, wow. So they could, I mean, if this is, is how they're seeing you, they could be seeing you as heartbroken, in a lot of pain, feeling betrayed, feeling um, maybe sort of abandoned almost by your person. Your, you gave your heart, it wasn't appreciated. They could be seeing you as asking yourself, is it time? Do I have to move on? Should I wait? Should I give this another go? We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands, sorry, six of, not Seven of uh, Swords, Seven of Wands reversed. Um, did I say, I can't even, I don't know if I said Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, we have the King of Wands in reverse, and we have, oh, we have a few here. Queen of Pentacles reversed, the Sun, the Empress in reverse. So the first thing I can see here is that in their eyes, you have leveled up. Um, not, not that, okay, how can I explain it? When they met you, they saw you as a queen of pentacles, male or female, and they thought, my goodness, this person is blowing me away. I'm so impressed. I've never met anyone like them. Surprisingly to them, now in this moment, they hold you in even higher regard, the empress. So maybe they have seen you as having leveled up. You've moved from a king or queen of pentacles into an empress. It could be both. It could be that. And they're saying, in my eyes, your value is even higher now. You are, I've come to realise you're not just this amazing queen. You know, there are four queens. You're one of the amazing ones. They're, you know, one of the four. They're saying, really, you're, you're my one and only. There's only one empress and that's you. Um, so it, you've sort of gone up in, in terms of how they feel. Um, or they've become more certain about their feelings um, and or they're seeing that you have been leveling up so they're seeing you as yeah there's something here about release it could be that you're asking yourself should i release the connection and you're, you're trying to head towards happiness towards joy if that's the case look we have this red thread here as well they've they believe that you too are saying to yourself, okay, I will always have these feelings, but I still need to move forward. So they, as far as your person's concerned, their perspective is that you both feel the same in that way. Even if you didn't speak or see each other from now until, you know, the end of this incarnation, throughout that entire time, you will always be connected. You will always um, love one another. So that's something they believe that you also feel. Um, it could be, you might not be saying about releasing the connection completely, but perhaps you have changed in some way. Um, especially if there have been cycles of pain, betrayal, hurt, invalidation, I'm hearing. It's almost like there's a sense of release. You know, you're saying, okay, I can't control every aspect of this. I'm not going to try to. The, the, the feelings, the connection, they just are what they are, but I need to take care of myself I need to be happy so there's some kind of an evolution here that your person is seeing and they feel it's positive that there's like um, a sense of growth healing you're bringing healing to yourself um, they in terms of seeing your value your worth your beauty your attractiveness your handsomeness everything you know it, it's just gone up in their eyes with the Empress in reverse it's like they're saying I haven't been able to act on this to show you how I see you um, maybe they're saying you don't even realize how amazing you are you know that they're, they're, they're kind of saying I can see that you have more value maybe than even you realize um, okay for some of you, if your person hasn't yet or hasn't been able to transition out of an established foundation in order to move forward with you, and that caused a great deal of pain, your person is acknowledging that and saying, yeah, I can see how a lack of action here 
um, has been very wounding um, and why you're needing to give yourself this sense of healing and joy. Let's have a look at this Six of Wands in the reverse with Judgment reversed. You know, there's a feeling here of regret, of sadness. When we go back to the first spread, um, how did they see you in the start? There was It was more like there was suspicion, not of you, but of the connection, of the feelings. Also a sense of maybe taking it for granted that there wasn't going to be a time limit. I feel now there's a feeling, there's a sense of regret. So I don't know if you're not in communication, if you have moved on or tried to move on. Um, or if you're still speaking, but your person's looking back and saying, I wish I had acted differently. You know, upon reflection, I can see I didn't need to be guarded or this didn't need to happen. That didn't need to happen. So for some of you, I feel that there has been a significant amount of time between, you know, when you first met or the time you're asking about versus now. Or up until now, I should say. OK, judgment, please, with the six of wands in the reverse. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. Five of something reversed, five of pentacles reversed. Actually, saying five, I don't know if you watched Monday's reading where I did, uh, I threw the dice at the end. The third one I couldn't find. When I eventually found it, it was on the number five, which is so interesting because we had two thirteens talking about endings, new beginnings, and then we had five, which is a huge number of change. So, yeah, just thought they went together nicely. Okay, what else, please? King of Swords in reverse. Okay, your person, um, yeah, your person feels like you might be saying something's got to change. Should I move on? Shouldn't I? It's like you're no longer focusing on the potential. You're focusing on where am I now? What am I seeing? What have I seen so far? What action am I going to take? So you've taken back your power. You're focusing on yourself. Um, and your person is saying to themselves, I need to speak. I need I need to speak my truth. I need to say something honestly here. I need to speak directly. So that's the challenge that they seem to be facing right now. But um, it's almost like as you, as they're now seeing you as the Empress and your value is firmly established in their eyes, so is their regret perhaps for not seeing it sooner or uh, for lying or for withholding truths, um, forgetting or allowing things to get to the point where you might be considering moving on, having a new beginning without them. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, sure, there is something here that maybe needs careful navigation in order for them to um, have a beginning with you. Um, so it's not that they're just making excuses, but um, they do feel some regret. Quite a lot, actually. I'm hearing one great love. Wow. So they could be saying that you you are their one great love. Yeah, I mean, that whole red thread thing, you know, that they will always um, feel this way. Okay, so there's part of them that's almost resigned to the fact that they will have these feelings, they may not be able to act on them, but at the same time they haven't, they haven't become resigned, they haven't given up because they're still saying, you know, King of Swords, reversed, should I, should I speak, shouldn't I? Um, should I, should I say something here? Should I step forward? Um, so a little bit torn in the present moment. Okay. We have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. You know, and this is the thing. Love did come their way. They weren't expecting it. They didn't really feel that they deserved it at the time. And they didn't give enough thanks, if any. They were just suspicious, you know, and guarded. And now they have regret that they weren't more excited, more joyful about this. Perhaps, you know, as well, maybe things have become more complicated over time, you know, over weeks, months, years. And they're saying, if only I had appreciated it when things truly were more simple between us, because I thought it was difficult and confusing then, but no, it really, it really is a bit more challenging now. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Yeah, so that's the thing. They, they haven't sort of given up here. They're saying, you know, I could, I could make this happen if, you know, if I really want to. I just have to sort of find my courage and I have to make plans. Um, and, you know, take a risk because maybe coming towards you and speaking their truth now, maybe it might be too late, you know. 
maybe they might not quite get the response they want they maybe they will but maybe they won't but they're saying I, I could technically do it you know so they're still saying should I should I not should I um so yeah that's that's the change I suppose the evolution I feel that this isn't a connection that's been alive and, and that you've both been aware of for sort of like a couple of weeks here um, unless it's been the most insane couple of weeks <laughs> for both of you. I think this is this is probably years, if I'm honest. Um, if not years, many months. Um, because there feels like there's a lot that's happened in between then and now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one more thing's coming through. Um, I, I feel like your person feels regret because they hurt their empress. You know, I mean, as I said, there's only one empress, there's only one emperor. Um, so they're they're kind of in regret actually that they've caused this three of swords ten of swords or been a part of, of this pain For you Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped um, Take care and have a lovely weekend. Bye